All right, let's see what this Joker 2 trailer is all about. Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve, and as I said, I'm going to get into the Joker 2 trailer that dropped yesterday. I didn't have time to watch it yesterday, but I'm here today. Uh, Joker 1 was fine. It was good. It was good for what it was. I enjoyed it. I watched it. Um, it actually kind of uh, not proves my point, but it's on the side of my point of... No such thing as superhero fatigue. To me, it's just, you just need more options. I love laughing. I love silliness. Give me all of that. But every once in a while, I think you got to mix in a rated R movie. That's just me. That's why I guarantee this movie is going to do well. And Deadpool and Wolverine is going to do well. So, but I just want to get into it. Let's see what it's all about. We got Joaquin Phoenix. We got Lady Gaga. Three, two, one, go. Damn, he had to lose weight again. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? <laughs> so he got out of jail, just like the Joker always does. Okay. We use music to make us whole. To balance the fractures within ourselves. It looks beautiful. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. <laughs> what has he done? <laughs> Let's get out of here. So this is really going to be a musical. <laughs> he's always wait a second he's running looks like he was running from his old self tell us well, she looks all right are there well, i'll tell you what's changed we are not alone anymore damn that's what we should be talking about <laughs> huh. <laughs> I want to see the real you. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that was good. October. So this looks really good. Like it looks really good. The shots, the cinematography looks amazing. <laughs> I saw someone post it today. It's like La La Land in the DC universe. But my question really is, which we'll find out in October, is what is all this singing and dancing when he's dressed up like in his Joker costume and she's dressed up and they're performing? Is it like they're going out on stage and just they're like a singing group you know is the movie a musical like everywhere they go are they going to be singing or is it going to be that's their thing like they meet and something that they like to do that kind of keeps them both sane is to you know he used to like to do stand-up he would go to open mics and do stand-up are they going to go to open mics and perform singing and dancing is that going to be the musical aspect of this movie we won't know until October, but from what we heard, there's like 15 musical numbers at least in this movie. So that tends to lead me to believe that it's not just going to be that. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they do this. Like, why are they singing? Is it going to be another one of those things where we're not sure, sure if everything is in Arthur's head and that's just what he perceives it to be, that he's having fun again with someone and maybe they're doing something normal or mundane, but in his mind, they're like having this amazing musical number. I don't know. I don't think anyone knows yet, but it just looks really good. Like it looks so good. And again, this is, I think, what we need. 
more variety. You know, you could say you don't want to see this, which is fine. To me, this isn't like something where I want to see it opening night, but it's something interesting and new and different compared to just all of, you know, comedic comic book movies and stuff like that, where I don't know what to expect. And they are trying something different. And I like that. That's why I go to watch all of these movies, whether it's like The Winter Soldier, which, you know, is a spy thriller or something like Ant-Man, which is a heist movie. They're both rated PG, but they're still two different genres of movies. And that's what I like. So I'm looking forward to seeing the Joker movie as well as I'm really looking forward to see Deadpool and Wolverine. And when 2025 comes, I hope we get to see a rated R blade. And then maybe when Daredevil Born Again drops, that's like TVMA. And then they'll mix in stuff like, you know, the Captain America New World Order movie. I don't remember what they retitled it, but that'll probably be PG-13 and that's fine. And then we have Thunderbolts, which will probably be PG-13. But who knows? Maybe they'll make that rated R. I just feel like Marvel just needs to mix in some rated R movies and shows. That's just my opinion. Not everything needs to be it, but just pick some properties that can be it. And it'll just like, it'll just get in our, get into our minds like, okay, we're laughing, laughing, laughing. And now we got something that's brutal. And then it's like, damn, we need to laugh again. And then they hit you with another PG-13 movie. That's good, but also funny. I hope all that makes sense. I'm sorry for going off on a tangent, but I did enjoy the trailer. Again, it looks amazing. It just looks really, it looks really good. Hopefully the story matches the visuals. So what do you all think of this trailer? What do you think of my reaction? What do you think of anything that I said? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Peace guys.